so begins the journey to my perfect viper. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the chaos. I'm Ryan and Slam and I are actually on the way finally to go pick up my 2008 Dodge Viper. So if you've stuck around with the channel and you kind of know what's going on, I appreciate you. You're a real one. you have been following the journey. If you are new here, I'll link the whole playlist down below, but get you caught up a little bit before we get there. I've got a 2008 Dodge Viper. It's the Gen 4. Both the Gen 3 Gen 4s have that same outdated look to them with the Dodge Dakota style front bumper on them and I kind of took inspiration from Dean Kearney and Formula Drift. He ran a Gen 4 car with a Gen 5 front bumper on it and I, once I saw that car like I just fell in love. So the Dodge Viper has always been my dream car and we're making that the full dream come to reality. So not only did I want a Dodge Viper like the, the Gen 4 but I wanted that Gen 5 bumper on there. So Toxic Customs was the ones that have actually done the work. So it's been eight months since I've seen the car. So they've definitely took, taken their sweet time, but today is finally the day to go pick it up. So I've got like that nervous excitement. I'm just ready to get the car back, but we're on the way now. So I actually had to go drop off some parts yesterday to get it finalized. So I'm gonna throw it back while we're driving along, throw it back and give you like a little teaser and show you the painted bumper because I haven't seen final assembly. So I've all, all I've seen at this point is the, the bumper painted and then our inner structure, our bash bar painted as well. So as we're driving along, check out that footage and then we'll update you when we actually get to Toxic Customs. getting closer to toxic customs uh, of course the day couldn't have gone without any little bit of chaos involved so once they actually done the final assembly hung the bumper he went to start the car and it threw a check engine light so my guess is because these cars I've heard they're kind of finicky electronically and so if you don't if you're not driving the car you should also leave it on a battery tender which at the house I do but it's basically been off the tender ever since it's, it's been at the shop. So I don't know if it's related to that, but he did thankfully got the code to clear. He said it was like a blown fuse. So, but that's kind of weird to me. Why is it blowing fuses? So that worries me a little bit, but again, that's, <laughs> that's part of life. That's part of the chaos involved in it. So I'm still excited, but yeah, that did have me a little nervous. So I do, I do have some tools and that kind of thing, just in case something happens along the way because the car has been sitting for so long, but yeah, we're getting close, so we'll update you when we actually get there. We're just pulling up the Toxic Customs. The car is sitting outside. I can't see the front bumper, but holy cow. If you remember, we transformed the whole car. So from back to front is completely different. So we put that auto form rear spoiler and then painted our fuel cap as well as the rear valence. Blown away, so excited. So sorry, gonna interrupt this to go check out my car. <laughs> 
I'm gonna jump in and interrupt your regularly scheduled program. I am going to reveal the car, but before I do so, I wanna throw a disclaimer out there that yes, obviously, the car is home, it's back in the chaos garage now, but when I went to pick it up, uh, obviously initial first glance, first take, beautiful like the whole the vision is there they nailed it so i'm super excited about the way that things have turned out on the car but there are a few imperfections and flaws that they need to work through so i kind of had this internal debate with myself because i just didn't know when i put the footage out there for you all to see the car i wanted the car to be 100 percent perfect and you might not even notice on video but it's going to bother me if i didn't let you know that the car is going to be fixed so after y'all check out the initial reveal We'll jump back to the chaos garage and kind of go over all the imperfections and flaws that the shop they're going to make it right and fix it all but unfortunately we'll have to go back but let's go ahead and check out the reveal now I'm so excited to get my car back. Oh my God, it looks phenomenal. So what we'll actually do is we'll kind of head out of here and cause it's noisy, loud, that kind of thing. But I want to kind of give you the rundown, a proper rundown of everything that's done and just, yeah, I can't get over how this car is completely transformed, completely different from where, I, where we started, where we ended up. But let's get rolling out of here. I'm ready to get back behind the wheel and enjoy it a little bit. Let's talk positives, because I don't want this to be a whole doom and gloom reveal video, because that's it's far from that. Like, I'm so pumped to see my vision come to reality. So it all started out with, one, the dream car, the Viper itself. Always loved the Gen 4s, but then once I saw Dean Kearney's Gen 4 with the Gen 5 bumper on it, I was sold. I knew at one point, one, I have to obtain the car, but then when I do, I have to have that bumper on the car. And Toxic Customs brought that dream to reality. So they blew it out of the water. I mean, like the entire look of the car has completely transformed from the front bumper, Gen 5 front bumper on our Gen 4, to the auto form rear spoiler, and then to top it off with the black badging on the sides. Then we got the lower rear valence is black as well as the fuel cap. So just the completely different car from where we dropped it off from. That I'm in love with. So in person, looking at the car, just kind of walking around, that kind of thing, We'll call it like a two, three footer. So two or three feet, it looks amazing. Like, like I said, the concept is there. It's just a little few of the fit and finish pieces that I'm a little disappointed with. So let's actually get up close and personal with the car. So I'm gonna take you bumper to bumper and just give you the rundown on some of the flaws and imperfections that have to be fixed and why it's going back to the shop. And one of the first things I actually noticed, and to me it's kind of the most glaringly obvious things on the car at the moment, but the passenger side, and I'll give you a kind of comparison back to back, but on the passenger side, our uh, fender badges, let's say like Dodge SRT10, on the 
Passenger side, nailed it. It's 100% perfect, lined up exactly the way it should be. It's the driver's side that is wonky. Here's our passenger side, and you can tell this kind of body line right here, it's got the perfect match. So it's an exact amount of space under our V as it is under our R. So now let's compare that to the driver's side. We're looking at the driver's side now, and this V down here is closer to our line than the end of the R. So it kind of goes at a slant like this. Not sure if you could tell on camera, but in person is definitely very obvious. It's got a, a slant to it. So we've got new badges on order to go on. Taking a look at the front bumper itself, we're up close and personal with the grill and this is the inlet portion for the driver's side. So you can kind of see there's some scuffing here. I'm assuming where they probably put, push that grill on. It's just chipped away, ate some of the paint off of the bumper itself. And you can kind of see that scuffing all along the edge. So that's kind of apparent, not necessarily all the way around, but a good majority. It just happens to be the kind of the worst in these areas. Again, this is towards the driver's side. You kind of noticed these light dots in here. That is some type of potentially trash in the paint itself. So I don't know if that can be buffed out or what, but definitely a little imperfection up here. Here we are just below the driver's side headlight. Ignore the bug splatter, that's no big deal. But the dot here, that is some kind of bubble under the paint itself. So you can, can't necessarily feel it, but there's definitely something there. This one you could probably chalk up to me being a little bit picky, but when you look into this little opening and the bumper on both, we're looking at the driver's side right now, but it's apparent on the passenger side as well. But that clip down there where the inner fender liner attaches to, that clip is driving me crazy because it's silver. So in here in the garage, it's kind of hard to see without shining a light in there. But when you're outside in the sunlight, it's very obvious to see, you'll see those silver clips just kind of standing out. So I would like those to be black. But again, that's a little bit nit nitpicky on my part. And again, just like our driver's side and this crease right here, there seems to be some trash that got picked up in the paint. So those little white specks aren't flakes of metallic, it's trash. Moving to the rear of the car, I probably don't really have to even point it out. You can probably tell it from here, but we got a little nick right up here in our auto form spoiler. So even from farther away, like it kind of sucks because it is black. That little white dot, you can stands out like a sore thumb. On the passenger side, at the very tip edge, along the edge line of our spoiler, looks like it's got little scuff scrapes in it. So we'll want that to be fixed as well. Checking out our rear valence on the rear bumper. The tape line was masked off between obviously the blue and then the newly painted black. But as you go down, that kind of tape line gets a little wonky. And so you can kind of see ble blue bleeding through where it should be black. So that'll have to be kind of masked off and that nice edge touched back up. So that way it's just all black, no more blue. And it might seem like I'm being overly critical and I don't want to take away from the fact that I'm so hyped to have the car back, but I do want to have it 100% perfect because I know down the road, <laughs> I'm going to drive the heck out of it. So at some point, yes, the front bumper is going to get messed up. The spoiler might get, you know, rock chips, that kind of thing. But at least right out of the gate, I want to be the one to, to do those and make those imperfections on the car. So, and I don't want to take away the job that Toxic Customs did because like I said, they took my vision and made it a reality. So they knocked it out of the park from everything like the, the paint match on the car itself. The front bumper was painted solo, like isolated from the rest of the car so they didn't do any blending. And I mean, the, the paint job itself is spot on. So there's a few flaws they'll fix, but they owned up to it. Yeah, we should have caught that before we ever called you up, but they're gonna fix it, make it right. And this car is gonna be perfect in my eyes. Thanks to all of those who actually stuck around this entire journey from start to finish to see it through. I really appreciate you. And in the comment section, let me know what you think about this project. Do you love the, the outcome? Hate it? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I love interacting with you all. If you are new around here, smash that subscribe button. Because if you like Viper content, I've been stacking parts for the last eight months. So there's plenty more to do to this car. We ain't done yet. We got the look down, but now we're going to tap into the performance. But I really appreciate everybody watching. I look forward to interacting with you all in the comments. And we'll catch you all in the next one.